You are watching Bermuda Grad Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Okay, you're a fanatic. Look, that's an overgrown lawn this stuff, right? You can see it. It's pretty bad shape. Took me and Master P maybe about 20, 25 minutes to get it done. And this lawn wasn't, hasn't been serviced in about three weeks. And it's in a real moisture bed. It means the grass grow pretty fast without that much watering and I'm just giving you the walk around but you see what it looks like after we cut the lawn right. one thousand percent better for the weeds but you know it is what it is let you see the other side real quick We're done with this one. Okay, you are fanatics. Like I said, these are small updates. Three weeks ago, we hit this yard with the weed and feed, all right? I, now, it was full of weeds, full of weeds. And, and I'll just be straight up honest with you. It was a cheap brand of weed and feed, nothing expensive. Because, um, <clears throat> you know, they didn't, she didn't want to spend that money, so. You got to get what they can afford, but I I'm not going to say the name of the brand, but it, it, it did an excellent job. And the reason I'm showing this video, like I said, always update videos. Now, they, the annual bluegrass is off the chain. You see it. Two feet tall, but Master P, king of hedges. You see him. But I just want you to see this yard after I get through here, all right? So you've seen the before pictures. And now look at the apple. Voila! This is the finished product. All right, we cut it. We cut it a little bit lower on the outside. Probably should have came up just to taste, but that's actually at one inch. This right here is at 1.5. Kept the greenness when we went that. And guys, look, I wasn't gonna tell you, but the name of that product is Stay Green. 
bought it at Lowe's. She specifically said she wanted to stay green. She's a Lowe's girl, just like I'm a Home Depot guy. So sometimes you don't really have to spend a lot of money, but she, they did what I said. You know, it had rain, we came in, we put that weed and feed down. A um, Couple of days later, she came out and started watering in. Should have watered in a little earlier, but the day she watered in, it rained like crazy. About two days. The weeds have subsided. And we got a perfect looking Bermuda lawn. We're back at the other yard. Hey, we had to come back and do the mulch. All right, I don't have my gimbal, so it won't be as smooth, but. Tell you what we charge. Thirty dollars for all the mulch. All right. I charge them one forty, and we got it done in about forty minutes. So that wasn't bad at all. But like I said, you know, some of the other guys would say I would charge five, six hundred dollars for that. I don't know who, what kind of damn customers you got, but in this day and age, it's hard to find a customer that's gonna let you literally rip them off. Or maybe you're just saying it because. You're making a video, all right? But that's the mulch installed right there. It's Master P. Kilton. Looking good. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman. I'll talk this is a quick video, all right? Now, we just installed some mulch over there, but we had some in the yard. All right, Master P came and we blew all those little bits back over there because some kind of blew out when we was putting it down. But these are the stole ones, guys. He blew so hard. Stolon came up. You see a few of them in the yard. And if you don't know what stolons are, these are the top runners in your Bermuda grass. They literally go across the ground in the grass like that and they start branching off. And this is how your grass starts to spread. A little spots like that will fill in. But you have to keep your grass mowed on a consistent basis to activate your stolons. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.